I guess time to find something that I'm supposed to interact with just to continue the thing. It's working. Has it been repaired? Or did Andrew lie to me? Oh. Okay. Grandma's still in here. Grandma. Anything to do it? Can I throw grandma into this place? Because we know she's evil. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Dinner ready yet? Can I need to continue on the story? Right, hold on, let's get back to Let's go to that door. Maybe the door is interactable now because everything's changed apparently, and I can interact with the, all, everything that I didn't, I could interact before, so I, I don't know. Oh, all right. Can't even interact with that anymore. Hey. Okay. Nothing to interact here. Where am I supposed to interact? Do I play music? Do I go back to the library? Do I check the desk thingy again? What am I supposed to look at? This will make it easier to carry. Really? The boy. It must be. But I need to be sure. Perhaps the names are on the back. I literally tried to pick this up last night. It didn't let me pick it up. <sighs> Grandfather Edward. Just as he looked last night. My family. Yet they're all still strangers to me. Lady Margaret. She looks happy. Are you sure? She looks evil. I imagine a smiling like that these days. The boy. How did he provoke Edward into throwing him down the stairs? But who is that? Edo. What's this? Looks like it's drawn in blood. Yes, yeah, so just look at that painting all of a sudden. See something move. No, nothing, nothing moved. We just looked into the painting for no reason. Oh, weird. The boy. Oh, hot. Regardless of what I told Miss Cranon, these visions are like nothing I've ever experienced before, and they're getting worse. All right, I think it's dinner time. Maybe that progresses the timeline because that took a long time. All right, give that spin later. Okay, good. Time to go eat dinner. I, I hope. Dinner time, dinner time. Is dinner over here? I think so. Yeah. Time for dinner? No. Ooh, 
Who is the boy meter with the Leo set up there? Find the grave from the painting. Still raining? Yep, still raining. Find the grave from the painting. Well, I can't get out of here. I can't leave. I guess ask Grandmama what I'm supposed to do with the painting because, you know, no one else is going to give me any answers. I was going to ask my evil grandma. Lady Margaret? Yes, David. I saw an old photograph of a boy in the other room. Something tells me she wouldn't be happy if she knew I had it in my pocket. Ah, that was taken in 1894. Young Johnny, your father. How, how, how? You can remember the exact year. What year is this now? It's a funny thing when you reach my age. You can remember dates from decades ago. But not what you had for breakfast. Maybe others can't. Um, who, may I ask, were the others in the picture? That would be your Aunt Clara and your late great-grandmother, the last true Countess of Scarhandu House. And my dear Edward, of course. I uh, noticed my father had a scar on his face. How did that happen? <sighs> Falling from a tree, perhaps? I can't recall. But your father was a clumsy child. Can't recall. But you remember the date the photograph was taken? Yeah. I was just being shit. I shall take my leave, Lady Margaret. Yes. No, wrong button. No, wrong button. Down. All right. Mio with Elsa after dinner. Find the grave from the painting. Okay. Well, I can't go outside because it's raining and I, I, I think I'm my weakness is to the rain. So I like I would die if rain touches me. I'm assuming that's why I can't leave the room or leave this building. All right. Just get around here, please. Thank you. Hmm. Now where? Okay, so we. W I checked the library. Maybe, maybe she's there now. Do we even have dinner yet? I don't think so. Well, I'm gonna check the desk, regardless. There might be something in the desk that was. This doctor father might be useful. Perhaps she could shed some light on father's final weeks. I should contact her. Oh, okay. I should have done that. D downwards we go. We found we found a clue. All right, time to go uh, use the phone now. All right. Perfect. All right, we we are on to something important. On to something important here. Oh, we, we can't. Hold on. Item. Wait, what does it say? We need to receive a as well as towards the castle walls of the Andrew Harrison, the lawyer who had contacted me on behalf of the family in the past. It is best to make me feel welcome. The staff seemed as strange as my family with a maid skulking in and out of locked doors and the go to honor Rory, warning me about some dark family secret yet refusing to share any details. Letters I found around the house reflecting my father's obsession with the occult. I, he spent most of the childhood, uh, most of my childhood studying it, traveling the world to seek out esoteric tomes. And Father Edward, his letters and notes, my grandmother Margaret's and mission to him all the more puzzling. To Edward, more that uh, to Edward, people were merely shadows, just things to be done with as he wished. I only hope that the hallucinations of the boy suffered, real as they might have seemed, have been the result of the combined strains of the past weeks, memories perhaps from my youth, or are these the first steps towards the same the same madness that Father succumbed to? All right, so that's different. All right, off to the kitchens we go, guys. Off to the kitchen we go. Is anyone here this time? Can I actually talk to someone? Because I I look I went everywhere. I I oh wait oh wait, red. Oh, I think that was just the camera.
So, I had a knife. Now it's gone. Oh my gosh, I can leave! Oh! I didn't know I could leave. I saw rain. I thought I couldn't leave. Ah, the fart gas. Smell the fresh fart gas everywhere. Yes. Oh, 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 these... Oh, that's a big invisible wall. I, I couldn't step over the grass. It's too strong for me. No, oh, don't want to go downstairs. Wait, so that goes... Wait, okay, so that goes there. Now, what's, what's down here? Can we go down here? Hold on. Can. Whoa, 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 take. Oh. Another photo. A steady enough vessel, if you trust your swimming skills. How, how does that help with... That's, how does swimming help with the boat being sturdy enough? Make any sense? Ah. Uh. Where am I? Oh. What? Alright, I have no idea what any of these photos mean because I can't look at the photos, so it doesn't... Oh, I just ran around this... What? Really? That's a big waste of time. We steal this car? Can you like put a bomb on it or something? Make explode it? I don't know. Master David. Wait, no! You could tell it was me. Your footsteps. I can the walk of everyone here. Well, that's that's rather incredible. Aye, that it is, laddie. That it is. I hear better than most. See more than most and all. Oh, I thought he was literally gonna do something. I was gonna, okay. It must be hard to look after the plants when you can barely see them. Yeah, that's what I thought. Pretty blind. His father had a similar toolbox. Back when he still fixed things around the house. When you talked about what they did to my father, what did you mean? You shouldn't have come back. You kind of go through what he did as a bairn, and no be sick. So his hospitalization was justified then? Not for me to say. Before you think of putting down roots here, you should think on what the poison groom here did to your father. You can? No, not really. If you don't mind, this door will no mend itself. I'll leave you to it then. All right, so you're not going to question, you know, what he said about I should not have come back here. You know, I, that means I've been here before. So that little boy is probably me. But, you know, he's, he's not that, you know, he's not the smartest, uh, sharpest tool in the, uh, in the sewers. But, yeah, I don't think he uh, understands that. The gravestone. Let's look for the grave. Nobody left to mourn the dead. All care for their graves, it seems. Find the same grave. I don't even know if it's worth taking the photos when I don't even know how to like access them. All right. Well, onwards. Andrew will have a key, but I'm not keen on waiting for his return. Mm, lock. Hey. You know, that's uh, find a way into the chapel. Okay, so we need... Oh, the toolbox! Yeah, that's why the toolbox was there. 
Onwards, back to the toolbox. Except, you know, should have uh, let me uh, get my item. Rory's tools. A hammer, a talon saw, a bolt cutter. All a bit rusty, but in good order. Rory's tools. You wouldn't have to have a chapel key, would you? Ain't set a foot in there for years, and I don't intend to either. That'll be a no, then. Uh, the graveyard. Is it a family plot? Aye. No matter how high and mighty, all the Gordons end up there. <sighs> a cheery thought. It's a shame we don't have the means to properly care for the graves. Why bother? His bones and food for worms. Wow. How kind. Um, may I borrow your bolt cutter? Maybe. If I can, what you need it for. If I can, what? I need to get into the chapel. Then maybe you should get yourself a key rather than destroying her ladyship's property. Oh, I'm going to take it. Or not. Um. Maybe. I told you I want them. That's all you need to know. Is it no? Let me tell you this, son. Your name may be on some scrap of paper someplace. But this here belongs to Lady Margaret. And always will. Until it's her turn to join them in the groom. Can I just take it now? Can I, can I stab him? Can I can I stab him and take and take it? Why is this left on? Who left this on? Okay, so all right, so there's another path I could. Oh, 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 now I have to press enter instead of actually walking through. From this family. Let's see if I can get into the chapel without Andrew. Oh, all right, never mind. I guess I just go back down here and see if there's anything else to do since we are stuck here until we find out. Interesting, interesting is all I gotta say. Is there a giant rock I can pick up to destroy it. Can I pick up this dock? Can I pick up this boat? Can I oh I can see why Rory likes this place. This view should ease even the most troubled soul. That, 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 thank you. That's so helpful of you, sir. That, that's not helpful at all. Oh, 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 oh. Um. Is there anything I can, I, th I can do? I can take? I can put up my butt? I, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. I guess there was nothing there for me to take. I guess let's go back to the chapel because... Never working on anything. Oh, now he is. If you don't mind, I'll leave. Rory's tool. Take it. I have no. I really have no idea right now. I guess I just go back to the chapel. That's the only thing I can do. You know, we could stomp it in, try a you know, rock, take some bones out of the graves. And they don't need it, right? Eh. 
Anything around here? Oh. I've seen this before. In the painting. This is the grave I, I saw in that waking dream or whatever it was. The grave my father buried something in as a boy. Who's buried here? If I could just... Ah, these vines are too thick. I need something to cut. Oh, all right, fine. I get the bow cutters now. His... I need to trigger that and then get the dialogue and then the, and then now I can tell him that I need the bow cutters to cut the vines instead and be like, okay, I, I okay, I'll, I'll give you the bow cutters and then I just cut the boats to the church, the chapel. And uh, yeah, bow cutters. Um, maybe the graves. I would like to tidy them up. That way I can pay my respects properly. Is that a fact? Why is that then? They are my family. They deserve to be remembered. Oh, fair enough, laddie. Just grab it yourself, will ye? You? Got it. Perfect. Oh, did by himself. Oh, we got it. We got the we got the bow cutters. Now we take it and smash his face and go. Oh, I can't talk to him. I tried, guys. I tried smashing his face in. Didn't work. Didn't let me. Didn't let me. Right, at least we got the bow cutters now. Right, we're gonna cover the grave first, and then we're gonna go uncover the chapel locked. Cecilia Shaw Nee Gordon. Aunt Cecilia. Now, let's see if there's something really buried in here. Another piece of the castle model. Oh. Another part of the model. And it's stained with what seems to be old blood. Where? Oh. Why did father bury this when he was a child? Else? How could I have known that something was buried here? I don't remember father ever telling me about this grave. Father must have buried the chapel piece here for a reason when he was a boy. But why? And whose blood is it stained with? Some evil persons! Probably his. Or... Oh, it's a mash it. Mash, 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 mash. Somehow, but at least it wasn't herpes. The place is crumbling. Not the safest spot to pray. Being the chronicle of the family Gordon, as laid down by Sir Drummond Gordon, the year of our Lord, 1413. Local legend speaks of this particular glen as being inhabited time immemorial. Enigmatic, elaborately carved pectish stones stand as timeless evidence of this. Ah. As for the locals, they appear prideful of the counsel they delight in giving to visitors. Traveler, beware. Don't eat the poison. The Celtic peoples arrived in this place like a great beast, bringing with them the bloodlines that would eventually spawn the Gordon clan. Using their superior numbers, knowledge, and machines of war, they swiftly conquered the primeval Picts. With them, they brought to their religion and druid clerics. 
The magics these wise men used did shape forever the lands, even until this present day. It is said that the sempiternal burden our family carries rose at that time. Oh, is there red in order? Or their order? To tame the wayward Scots, that they did even raise a barrier to protect their mighty empire. What is seldom told is the truth behind their defeat. Our ancestors drew upon ancient powers to aid their victory. Powers not easily fathomed by the fragile human mind. This aid did come at the greatest of costs. A debt as yet unsettled. A price we will continue to pay until the last Gordon passes to dust. Oh. For the centuries, we Gordons made the land our own. Others did bow to us as we kept the secrets of Skahandu. The secrets of the Black Mirror. Even as tragedy and madness did fester in our foundations, we held fast and steered the land through vile English attack and worse. <gasps> Herpes! In time, the Gordons and the land Oh, there's more? Some pages have been ripped out. The only thing left seems to be some kind of family oath. In blood we are bound to the land we protect. To the truths we alone may conceal. I shall forfeit my life. Lest my clan should suffer, I shall forfeit my spirit to hold the darkness. This is a lot longer than I thought. In blood we are Till the day of the reckoning. What, are you? Is the cold coming from? Oh, what the heck? That's a bloodborne sound. No, that was like when you you kill the boss or something. It's like. Drawn. Oh, what is that? Oh, hmm. Okay, let's see what this is. Is this what madness feels like? It can't be real. We're underwater now. Except. Oh, what is happening with the frame rate? All this looks like the bottom of a lake. Oh, it's slowly changing. Is that an arrow? Oh, that's a fish. What are you trying to show me? <sighs> that. Catch the person. Catch the person. Catch, catch, catch. Oh, wait, 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 examine. Oh, sorry. I was trying to spam it to like catch her, just happened. There's a fresh wound across her stomach. Oh, the figure up there must be Edward. Uh oh. Edward pushed the lady down. Who did he push? Hey, you, I'm gonna push you down. All right. Go. Oh, there you go. A note. I'm taking my baby with me to save it from this rotten family. Find my child! Oh no, watch out, sir! Oh, watch out! Her oh, watch out! It's still falling! Slowly. Oh. Are you alright?
Uh, did you did you see her? She uh, drowned. Drowned in this Calm down, place. I'm in shock. What were you doing clambering about in here? I oh, if I told you, 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 you'd think me mad. Who are you? Aunt, that is just what your father said to me. Ah. Interesting. Who are you? Hold on, let me save. I can't save the game. Okay, let's continue. What? Who are you? My name is Dr. Leah Farber. I treated oh. your father at the asylum. Wait, so you was asylum? admitted? Let's get you back to the castle and make sure you are all right. Wait, I, I didn't get to go to the other option. Ah, dang it. Alright, make sure my ding dong's alright. That's the most important thing I'm worried about. <gasps> and safe still. Why why is she here? What did you come here for? I'm not sure your father's story is finished yet. And there are some things I still need to make my peace with. Salam. What's this about an asylum? As I said, your father was admitted. Why? Who did that to him? I did. But unfortunately, he managed to escape. What? Hold on a minute. How dare you come in here and... Told you? Your father was a madman. A complete and utter madman. Ooh, where did you come from? Oh, I mean. Please continue. Get out of here. What, what the... Oh, okay. Well, what right did you have to lock my father up in a in a madhouse? Well, she's a doctor, so. Doctor. Yep, see? I understand you are in shock, but you have no right to speak to me in such a way. Yeah, yeah I, I do. I'm trying to help him. He's dead. Capital job. I do have a right. I'm angry. Just a minute. What happens? Did someone have like a poop or something? He's like, oh, my stomach poop poo. Got a big, big, big dump. I'm constipated. <gasps> What's that? Did you guys see water? What'd you do? <laughs> the pirate. Oh, her head got cut. Uh oh, oh. Wait, I didn't get to talk to her though. Oh no. Oh no, it wasn't cut off. It's just in there. Well, I guess I didn't get to talk to her. I, I guess that means I failed that, but... Well... Not, not my fault. She, she did. She should have told me everything. But no, it happened. Eddie, it'll be all right. Pull yourself together. I suggest nobody else goes down there. We should keep the room intact until the police can get here. I shall alert them first thing in the morning. What an unfortunate accident. First thing in the morning? Accident? You think so? Just after the madman's son turned up at our door? And yet you were the one standing over her body with blood on your hands. Why well, my eyes? I, did you see my eyes? Oh, too late. I was trying to help her. She... She... <laughs> there, there, my sweet boy. Let's get you to bed. Angus, would you? Of course, ma'am. I think we will all benefit from a good night's sleep. Uh, are you... Are you kidding me I know you may have no reason to but I need you to trust me what's what's wrong with these I'm people on your side when it comes to your father's death lady Margaret certainly isn't but if I told you what I saw in the chapel you'd have me in a padded cell just like my father yeah see that's I can't save still all right we're gonna finish the conversation that we can save here? to make sure my father was successfully in the ground 
With all due respect, Mr. Gordon, I will not allow you to speak to me or about my work in such a tone. I tried everything I could to aid your father. Your father was heavily drugged when he was brought to me, to prevent any further violent outburst or so Lady Margaret had said. But something felt wrong. Even then. All right, all right, okay. I'm a little confuso here. Are these people just stupid or something? If there was a freaking murder happening here, and then they're like, well, I guess a good night's sleep will help out with everything because, you know, that's how that works. When someone's murdered in the freaking house and the phone's working, so what's the whole point of not calling the police right now? Something's not right here. Like, there's no, there's some logic missing in these people, like, in his head. So, what was my father like when you locked him up? I didn't just lock him up. I tried to help him. He was convinced he was what? carrying some ancient curse. What? Why are you that looking that direction? Can, can you look at me when you're I talking? I had reached him. Had been able to I know, I know him. it's... Maybe if I threw you a bone, you'd get off my back. I, I know sometimes it's tough sometimes to, uh, to sometimes, you know, you know, to look at people sometimes when you're talking, but like, you know, in this game, at least look at me uh, instead of looking, I don't even know where you're looking at. Wait, look at that cleaver? Father was obsessed with the even I'm looking, the for as long as I can which I'm trying to figure out what she's looking at. I actually believe his family was out to get him? Who knows? I think what scared him was beyond the physical. He used to babble about a dark force threatening him and our family. Shadow Is people. That why he moved you to India? To get as far away as possible? I believe so. And yet, here you are, in the very place he sought to protect you from. Who knows? Maybe there is an ancient evil in this place. An evil that drags us back no matter how far away we get. Even from the other side of the world. And what do you think? Was your father right? Are there things beyond the physical? Yes, yes, uh, uh no. It, what? Uh, can't put, I can't say yes. I guess I avoid the question instead of dismiss entirely. I have other things to worry about right now. Things like a drowning woman floating in thin air. If you really want to help me, I need to find out what the maid knew. What Lady Margaret and Angus didn't want her to tell me. You believe it got her killed? Yes. Maybe. What I saw in the chapel, it has to be real. And it's again, it has to be real. Can't tell me I'm crazy. I know what I saw. Like son. All right. Uh, Why well, can't save the game? Oh, yeah, I can save the game. Uh, nope, don't stop it. All right, and I'm gonna end uh, end it here, guys, for Black Mirror. This is the farthest I can go right now for the Black Mirror before the game is actually released, uh, which the game releases on the 28th of November. Uh, so that was the area where THQ um, told me that I could uh, play up to, and woo! It's, it's an interesting game. I didn't expect uh, the game to... I didn't expect the game to be like this, uh, or where I can move. I thought it was a point-and-click adventure type game, but but I guess, um, yeah. Uh, hold on a second. Let, let me see if there's... Yeah, there isn't a... It doesn't seem like there's a... Um, it only goes up to game. Oh, hold on, let me, let me see if there's any... Um, nope. Okay. Oh, whoops. Sorry about that. Yeah, uh, it, okay, so it doesn't seem like there's any sort of ability to change the movement thing. Um, because, okay, so a few things that I, I got really annoyed about is the fact that there are items and stuff like that where I couldn't get it. I mean, this is a reboot of a game, of a law, of an old game. Uh, uh, there's some items you could, I couldn't get. And, and it's a little finicky with the things with um with like looking ex examining stuff in your inventory like it's, it's off to the side it's not really in the middle it's off to the side it's a little weird I didn't I didn't really like that uh, second of uh, second thing is that 
when you walk into a door or an open door, it doesn't give you a prompt to go into the room, right? It automatically puts you to transition into the room, which is, to me, a bad design because if you're looking around and exploring to try and find stuff and you accidentally walk into a door, it loads into the next room and then you got to go back into the other room just to, you know, do that. So you, it's really annoying about that. Uh, the camera is doesn't really show you where the door is. I mean, it follows you, which is nice, but really tough to find out where the doors are so you don't walk into them accidentally. Um, another thing was that I didn't really enjoy was the fact that, uh, well, I, at first I, I liked it because there was no tank controls, but then in, in this kind of style, I feel like tank controls would be very useful because there are a lot of invisible walls. And so when you actually move and then, when you actually move and then actually start moving because it, it follows your direction right it, it if you go into through a door and you're holding up to go to walk straight whatever the camera angle will be it's still going straight regardless so when you start turning around it will it will be like you're trying to go into that direction where you're trying to move and it's very disorienting at first and very confusing how that works but then you kind of get used to it uh, a lot of invisible walls i didn't really like that because it's because you just get stuck around stuff and it's really hard to navigate close around because the invisible walls, walls are like in corners sometimes and then you you have to turn back around and it, it's a little bit annoying but other than that uh you guys can definitely check this game out yourself links down below in the descriptions and yeah other than that i enjoyed it i enjoyed it. the story is very weird um it's, it's very weird because it's just our guy doesn't have any common sense. It's very frustrating. This guy's a stack of nuts or something. I don't know. He just... I have no idea. If someone got murdered, he's just like, okay, well, I just talked to the doctor. Like, no, nothing happened. There's a murderer here still, but you know. <clears throat> but anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this stream of Black Mirror. Woo! If you guys enjoyed this, if you guys did, then please slime that like button and subscribe down below for more awesome videos. Thank you everybody for watching this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye!